The first thing that I wanted to establish was that the picture was taken from west looking towards the east. So this is the opposite way around. This is the old golf course facing west. The lie of the land is completely different. And if we assume that this is that picture that we've all been looking at, then it doesn't match at all. The embankment in, in that picture is just visible towards that tree on the left hand side where there's a little gap. You can just see where the top of the embankment is. Now, we have to assume, I think, that that photograph was taken from the west looking east. And I've driven the whole length of the line alongside the road from Lowestoft to Hopton on both sides today. I can't see anything remotely like it. Now, this is the picture that is, uh, has been on Facebook, isn't it? Where we can see there's an abutment on the right hand side and the bridge, while vaguely looking the same, uh, appears different. Especially when we consider that in the photograph, the track bed is actually above the height of the bridge. This view is as close as I can get to where I think the picture may have been taken. The Pledgewood Hill site is just to the left of these bushes. You can't get there any longer. So the camera really should probably have been about 20, 30 feet to the left. But this is as close as I could get. Now what I've done is superimpose the photograph that was on Facebook over the top. The height matches and it looks good. Apart from the fact that a lot of us thought that that bridge doesn't have any abutments. But in actual fact, it does. Look on the top of the bridge as well. There's a little clue there. There's a tank trap, one of those World War II square concrete tank traps. If we get closer, look at the shadow on the left hand side of the bridge near the uh, opening. There is an abutment there and the shadow is casting its angle. This is what it looks like uh, in practice. And you can see that the brickwork merges really neatly with the arch. So in that picture that we were looking at, we were miser a little, little bit. It looked like there weren't any abutments, but one of them, this one on this side, was facing straight to the camera and is invisible. And on the other side, it's given away by the shadow. Um, once we get up to the top, we've got the problem of the height. That's looking back towards Great Yarmouth over the top of the actual um, tunnel itself. So that, that makes a bit of sense. But look back towards Lowestoft. We're assuming that this is the level that the track bed was, when in actual fact it looks very much like the track bed was around about two feet at least, maybe even three feet higher than that. Look at the other angle. There's a ridge. The actual bridge itself is capped off with concrete. If we get close on there, look, you can see that step. Now that goes from the existing level up to the level that goes across the top of the bridge. And it's around about a foot, 300 mils higher than the place that we're walking nowadays. Looking left from the abutment, that horizontal line just beyond those trees is the top of the bridge. My conclusion is that that photograph is of the bridge on Dip Farm. Uh, we've got the track bed, which is a bit of a red herring, looks like it's too high in the photograph but looking at the top of the bridge the concrete is at least a foot higher and then there would have been the ballast and the track on top of that so the actual track would have been level with the top of the bridge we're convinced that the bridge didn't have those abutments either side flanking the embankment in actual fact looking at the picture very closely it does and that shadow is a dead giveaway that they are present